just didn't know where you were going. I just didn't know where you were going. Yo, I couldn't even continue. What song was that supposed to be? Because you know, I'm so used to her coming in so softly, so that nerve, that unnerved me. Oh, my word. You want to tell us where you were going with that? I like to get nervous. I like to get nervous. I can't even talk. I just want to know where you were going. Give us a general direction, please. Caught in a barrel mess. Oh, Stephanie. (laughs) Shout out to Stephanie. <laughs> Lady Yo, Gaga. I, can't even do I wasn't. I wasn't prepared. You nah, gotta warn that somebody. Me. You Your just fucking face. You just cry out. It's you all. <laughs> <laughs> you just cried out. I wasn't ready. You gotta. And it let... was like in the key of like G, Z is flat, Z. <laughs> So you can't it was come on Q here sharp minor. How are you gonna come on our <laughs> show, clowning from I'm jump? sorry. If you guys are noticing another voice, oh. we have a special guest. But before we get into that, welcome to Getting Grown with Jaden Kia, where we discuss all things adulting: <laughs> the good, the bad, the ugly, the test, the, t- the triumphs, the, the twists, the turns, the taxes of being a grown up in 2018. I'm Kia. That's Jade, and we are a special guest. Is yes. my bestest friend by the name of Latoya Daniel. Everybody say, "Hey, Toya!" Hey, hey Toya! Hey, y'all! Toya's gonna hang out with us. She's gonna spend the show with us. We're gonna have lots of cackles. We sure are, cause Toya is one of the funniest niggas I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I keep her around. Toya, you want to tell the people about yourself? Introduce yourself to the folks. On, well, I mean, there's really not much to tell. Uh, I'm oh, from the Bronx. You know, I've been regular. Degular. You know, regular, regular. <laughs> Before it even started, right, you know what I'm right. saying? I've been a part of that crew. Right. Um, Bronx born and raised. Uh, what else? So you and I went to I'm undergrad grown. together. Oh, yeah, we did. We went to college together. Yes. And she knew me before undergrad. I knew her when she was in high school. Right. I knew Takia since, and when she was wearing buns with a sock wrapped around the, <laughs> the bun. The oh. bun. Just you, for two, just. The donut. First of all, my donut was sickening. That? I do. Oh. It was, it was luxurious, actually. And she was dead set on going to Rutgers. And I like, wasn't going why? to, yeah. Because I, I didn't want to go. You thought it was a, a Ivy League school, the way Mainly she was like saying it. Mainly because I don't. I think I think it was just like I had to go. My mom wanted me to go to Manhattanville, and I just didn't want to go where she wanted me to go. And then she came to Manhattanville, had the time of her life. Did it's and Toya, <laughs> and now Toya's in our lives. Look how he works. Won't he do <laughs> it? <laughs> All day long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. What's going on, sis? How you doing, honey? I'm doing good, guys. You know, I just started my new job with a whole bunch of white people. Increase promotions. You know, increase in promotions, getting that white coin. Yeah. You know, it's it's a little unnerving and a little sad that I'm not working where I was working before, but, you know, I'll take that dollar. Big things are going. Big Big things are going. Real big things. Big things are going. How are you, sis? I'm alive. I'm doing all right. I'm happy to be here. Um... In the studio. Uh, we're in the studio. We're recording in New York this week, so we all get to be in one room in one state. Looking at each other's faces. That's a blessing. Isn't mm-hmm. it a blessing? I'm doing okay. Just working really super duper hard. I'm a little sleepy, but that comes with the territory, you know? Whew. But I'm alive and I'm well. I can't complain, really. That's it. Really and truly. How are you? What's going on in your life? Same. Tired. Mm-hmm. Working. Mm-hmm. All working of those hard. things. No new jobs. <laughs> <laughs> no new jobs. Just the same seven. No white people. No. <laughs> 2018. <laughs> 2018. Oh. Unless you'd like to hire me to do your catering event. Oh, oh well, yes. Plug. You got a plug. We can cook. We cook well. Thank you, sis. Um. All right. So uh, let's jump right on in. Let's take out some trash. Let's do that. I want to just start before we get into the obvious. You know, we're going to discuss the Grammys. But I logged into the Shade Room just a few short moments ago. And the very first headline that I saw was that Quincy Jones says that he has 22 girlfriends and that they all know about each other. Mm. Apparently, he did an interview with GQ Magazine, um, and he spoke about having uh, hoes in these different area codes. He said everywhere from Cape Town to Cairo to Stockholm, um, Brazil, Belo Horizonte, Sao Paulo, and Rio, Shanghai, He's got he's got a girlfriend in each in each of in each one of those places. Uh, cool. And he's so he, one thousand years old. And yeah, uh, so he's geriatric Polly. Ger- <laughs> <laughs> polyatric. You he's know, a polyatric. polyatric. He's a polyatric. You know, geriatric gross, polyamorous. I'm worried about his T cell count. Me myself. Because you know. Woo. Listen. You got to stay prayed up, Quincy. He could not possibly be having sex at 22. He's having sex. He said that they range from age 28 to 42. Wait. Uh, He's not here for anyone who's close to his own age of 84. 
What? He, I, so I'm, am not trying to be an ableist. Mm-hmm. You are. You about to, though. Isn't he in a wheelchair? I don't he's know. He's I don't know. He's I in a wheelchair. Thought, I feel like every time I've seen him, he's been no, in a wheelchair. No, he's always, he always has a cane. But I have not seen him in a wheelchair. I feel um, like I saw him in a wheelchair. Quincy Jones is always lying, though. I feel like every time he just kind of unsettles my spirit. I don't know if it's the Holy Ghost or whatever, you know, but I, every I, time he speaks, I be like, he's lying. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't believe nothing that he says. I just don't feel like Ryan. he's just like for mm. the for us, per se, all the time. So mm. I'm a little on you the know. fence with him. Mm. Yeah. So. Well, shout well, out to Quincy He gave us to me as you put a move on my heart, so I'll take it. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Tamia. The Canadian wonder. Uh, Jennifer Hudson is set to portray Aretha Franklin in the in the new biopic. Everybody, turn the volume down on your TVs right Immediately. now. <laughs> Immediately. Turn the volume down, Ear beloved. Buds, uh, I mean, what's the things called? Earplugs. All of that. Protect your cochlea. It's about to be loud and titiful. Woo! Even in the script, like just the regular talking is probably gonna be what. Jenny. <laughs> you don't have no what, what up? Jenny. She gonna sing everything loud. Till you come back <laughs> to me. She's gonna squall. <laughs> and you know, cause right now she just, you know, she's in a freedom place now, I I suppose. Cause she's not going ma- she's, she's not, not gonna marry that, that man. man. She wasn't gonna marry anyway. She was never mm-hmm. gonna marry that man. Yeah. You know they said we talked about that last time. I think they said she was dating Molly Music. I just don't want to believe that, and I won't. Okay. Mm-mm. We all like, I don't want to believe that he was doing that. Listen, I don't put it past him. All I know oh, is well, she's been Jim Jones in that married. young man for a really long time. and um, Who was what? She's been Jim Jones in, the, she's been Jim Jones in that nigga. <laughs> oh, Cause I'm don't like, she Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to get married. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he was basically Chrissy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No more. Mm-hmm. Um... Grammys time. Yes. Carry on, carry on. Sis, you were right there with me. And I the watched the is, last is hour. I was Same. chiming in looking at her Twitter because she entertains me so much. I just I remember. Like, she is really dry tonight. Because <laughs> I, <laughs> <'cause> I wasn't <laughs> watching. I was actually driving to New York, so I, I didn't even get sit sit down to watch. It was like 9.30 by the time I yeah, got there. I was there. driving to Crystal, so I, I, I also. And I, I saw Patti LuPone. Well, Slay that? the girl's edges. She sung Evita, the oh, legendary Patty Lapone. Yes, indeed. Yes. She, she did everybody. sing. And whoever that singing. young white that young white man that sung the song Sammy, from West Side Story. The, when the one with they had the church clap. No, no, no the one, the who, one who sung one West Side Story. And Jay came from the other room to talk about she could see this man's nipples through his shirt. I was like, his nipples I are feel showing. Like I might have, the one at the end. The, the last one with the one who looked like he was dressed for the Old Navy ad because he was doing a scene from West Side Story. Which is mm, I must have missed that one, but he sung. He sung. He was really he the sang. highlight of the uh, yes, of the whole did. award, the the hour of the award show that I saw. Sang. But you, uh, you went back and watched the performance. I went back and watched the performance. I did not. I had to see Cardi B and Bruno. I love Bruno. I saw Cardi B tell that white lady that she had butterflies in her vagina. <laughs> oh my gosh! And she was like, "You know, in my what did she say? In my stomach, in my She's vagina, like, in my vagina." <laughs> and then she said it like, "Did I just say that?" And then she was like, this the whole time. I was like, this girl. I just feel like, oh, whoever, oh, like every somebody time is told, coaching so her. Like, oh, I don't oh think my anybody God. is coaching somebody, her. I feel like she's problem. got like a coach, though, that's trying, but she's just still she's, holding yeah, on. But she's oh, never going to let it go. Tell. Like an etiquette she, coach. But she did sound very much, she sounds like she's been doing media training. Absolutely. Yeah, she, she does. She does she has like been that. doing media she training. She smiles in between, which is what that yeah. dead silence is. And you can tell that. pauses now better. She stops and thinks before she like, Answers the question, mm-hmm. um, and then she still answers it her way. Yeah, yeah, but which is which I feel like is you know why we love her. But I feel like most people who interview her, most journalists don't know how to interact with her because it's always an awkwardness, and well, I think it's because they don't know how. Yeah, and she runs on like in her sentences, and then she starts with that. <laughs> so they be like real like, well, was that a word or? <laughs> Uh, you know, you know like, what I'm saying? So they'd be like, like uh, So I think they'd be a little thrown off by that. So they don't know what to say. Like, what do you say to that when someone's when they end the right. sentence with that? It's but like, I feel okay. like if it was a black girl, she'd just right back. Like, I feel like it would just be like no, a band My eyebrows be, my eyes, my eyes would be up in the sky like, 
know what she just Maybe it's said. just like, oh, Cardi. <laughs> All right, girl. Cardi still I love her, though. Champion. BS stand up because yeah, you know that's her. where I'm from, so it's never any clowning. I love her. That is, um, I'm happy from her. I'm happy for her. She's still the people's champion. Yeah. Still. And I love Bruno. Bruno yeah, dances he was better good. than his backup dancers. Bruno like, was getting tipsy last zooted. night. Zoot. No, Ted. Bruno was not tipsy. Oh, no, he Bruno was doing was, lines. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And drinking, probably. Grocery yeah. store. He couldn't mm. even see. Bruno, <laughs> Bruno got up there and was like, what the day is? Right. <laughs> what are we doing here? My nigga did super Walmart lines. Oh, my like, God. My nigga had lines for days. Um, but he he still manages to dance better than all of his backup dancers. Um, Rihanna. Um, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised with Rihanna, Me to be quite honest. Too. Um, because what's she, she was, saying? What's, Wild what's Thoughts. The, oh, yeah. I keep forgetting mm-hmm. the name of that song. Um, <laughs> and she was dancing on her little um, Carlos Santana Chi-chi. dress. Salsa like, dress. You know, it was like a cute mm-hmm. little... And the character shoes. <laughs> and it was just really cute. It was super cute. It was but really cute. I was, I applaud her dancing. Yeah, she was giving it her all. She was giving her Beyonce. I have oh, seen she her. She was giving it Beyonce. Live. I'm and it not. was not pleasant. Well, you got to pull it up, um, KSC, because she I'm was doing, um, like the ugly girl dance face, you know, when they be getting it the real. Good. She was doing the South African dance, yes, she did oh, at the Guara. end, yeah, at the end, she did. She mm-hmm. did, she was, but she was busting the moves. So I, and I personally love her with this grown woman weight. Shout out to I do too. I was kind of like, is she pregnant? But then I'm like, maybe she's not. She's just eating good. She's she was beautiful good. either way. She's 30 years old, she's eating good, yeah, she looks really good. I'm not mad at her. Me neither. I'm not mad at her. And they showed, uh, like, uh, I guess years ago of her at um, a Grammy, like, one of her best dresses, and she was just so skinny. Mm-hmm. Like, MAGA. <laughs> 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 oh. No, so I'm and... really happy for her and her grown one weight. And then um, who else was... Kendrick. Oh, yeah, that was good. I missed a little bit of that mm-hmm. one. But I saw He's how they incorporated the Dave Chappelle, which was kind of a little appro- uh, off the... It was a little all over the place for me. Oh, I loved it. But I did enjoy it. I, I always like it. watching him. I have a special place in my heart for Dave Chappelle and Kendrick Lamar. So mm-hmm. they could have done anything they wanted, honestly. They could have got up there and scattered, and yeah. I would have just been so happy to <laughs> see mm-hmm. it. They, and Dave was um, pretty uh, toned down. Yeah, Even he was. He I think Dave had, uh, he had to rehearse and he had to stick to a script. Yeah, when he stepped at his award, he was real mellowed out and mellowed out, not saying much because, you know, usually he'll go in for the gusto. Oh my God. <laughs> and I feel like he would have taken the Grammys as an opportunity to do so. Mm-hmm. Um, who else was there? Cardi B, Bruno Mars, Rihanna, Kendrick Lamar. Well, we're missing, you know, B was at the funeral. You and know? her best she was funeral at the wake. black. She My was at the wake with the church hat. Best. And I'm and so shades. happy that hats are back. I don't Me know too. where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. <laughs> Honey, she was giving us, like, <laughs> Grand Beast funeral lady. home. I'm wearing a hat. Lady at the funeral. When I go yeah. see Black Panther, I'm sitting, listen. You know what? I might wear <laughs> that going entire to outfit. That whole Black outfit. Panther. What? The whole but thing. hold up. Them, those uh, earrings she had on supposedly was like $6 million. I was so like, she, this between is the wasteful. Between the earrings, <laughs> between the earrings <laughs> and the ring set. I saw, I tweeted about it today. I was like, just one third of one earring was like, like the earring, the, it was, it was $6.8 million for the whole set. For the whole set. Oh, I thought it was set. her earring. No. Oh, okay, so for the $6. whole set. $6.8 million dollars for the whole set. I'm just like just one, and it was like a it was a line of the so the center part of the earring, the center stud was was 35 carats. Oh my! God. And then it was like 70. Each one of those triangles had like 70 diamonds on it, and I'm like just one of them would just take care of my student loan debt forever. Like and my one, girl wore it was like cornrows. It would take care of more than more. I said like like just student. It would take care of your. It would save you it salvation. Would. It's salvation. <laughs> Those earrings are salvation. <laughs> Those oh my god! Salvation, redemption. Like I just don't know. Mm. It's like man. they read all the wrongs. I was trying not to hate. Listen, so I, I just on. have to say my favorite part. I, my favorite. I saw a bunch of memes today. You know, everyone making memes. So, um, y'all saw that Beyonce had a movie purse that had all all blue snacks in it. <laughs> no. So there was like this picture of Beyonce and like pulling this the snacks out the purse. And Blue has some fruit snacks in her hand, and Beyonce's holding like a juice box with a straw in <laughs> at it. At the Grammys? At the Grammys on the front row. And like. With those earrings on. Yes. And I just, it, it warmed my heart because, because I just felt like I could hear Beyonce. I, I just mm-hmm. felt like I could see the scene. Like, Blue reaches for the juice box, 
and you know she got on this white suit. Yes. And Beyonce is like, don't squeeze you, it. Oh, I will hold it. Do <laughs> not drink. squeeze this. Don't you listen in this white? <laughs> I'm holding the juice, okay? <laughs> and if you make me shuffle these earrings and they almost come out my ears, it's going to be a problem. Blue, you know I, I just can't love move. it. I love it. I love Sitting it. there, they literally. Were, they were all looking so like, like, don't move. Don't all of them. Move. Yeah, yes. they were all very uh-uh. tight, though, last night. And, Nas, have, and, oh, and Nas and Diddy were like sitting with Jay. And in the picture, like, Jay-Z is reaching for <laughs> for Blue's uh, snacks. And Beyonce is like, these are not for you. It's okay. I bought these for my child. It's, and it's so, but look how time turns. Because do you remember the time that they was in the front row with the Duce inside the Grammys drink? Inside Sis. the, uh, oh my gosh. with the cups. Now but they got juice boxes. They was drinking snacks. out juice of the Grammy Award. Yeah, <laughs> they I was remember. drinking out of the Grammy Award, Duce straight up in the first row. I bet row. those fruit snacks cost my rent, though. They probably was some Welches. I think they was just some regular Costco. Welches. No. How you say it? Costco, 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 whatever. It was Costco. But I, Beyonce I don't is not giving blue Welches. I believe that Beyonce is really I regular when it comes to that kind of stuff. Y30 and R30. No, no, no. Because no. she be at Target. Is, is, I'm saying, pretty I sure. I literally about to say a BB in Target she be in that Target. food aisle. Absolutely. And I wouldn't be surprised. She buys in bulk though. Right. And I <laughs> she, wouldn't be surprised if Blue got... She doesn't do anything. I wouldn't be surprised. She was at Target. They took a picture and Blue was like, Blue was like, like nah, they snitching. Like, what's <laughs> but, good? We just came here for the fruit snacks. I but, still believe that Blue, even somewhere, she probably got some undershirts that say Marona in the back. I hope so. I, I don't it. know, though. I believe she got <laughs> one or two. One or Masimo. two. She got a few. Because I, don't I mean, know if Blue owns an Oshkosh. I'm not sure. I wouldn't be surprised because I mean that's I, like classic kid stuff, and I could see Beyonce being real regular about that. that like is, I had yeah. Oshkosh. She does dress her like a little girl, and I've, I I love appreciate it. it so. I much. think that girl is so beautiful. She looks so pretty. Last I love night. her. She oh, looks beautiful. She looks so pretty. And, and I know everybody's like, favorite everybody moment calm is when down. she her parents, but, but my favorite when I saw moment it, it didn't even strike me as nothing. Toya, because that wasn't the highlight. The highlight was the look that Jay Z gave her right after she did that. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, he was I like, don't think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he gave her me. a black daddy look like, who I are hate you that they kept daddy? panning on him after every Everybody, win. Yeah. It was like, they are so Salty, getting on my nerves shady. with these cameras, those producers. I mean, like, I can't stand it because it was so awkward for him. I felt really bad. He didn't deserve any awards, so. Ooh. <laughs> he didn't. And I'm going, okay, so I very much enjoy 444, but. Like we talked about last night, you don't get to have no, you don't get to have awards for for your response to cheating. I'm sorry, you cheated on Beyonce. Do you think that's what it was? Yes, yes, it but, was him. But you know what? That's not that can't be it because Usher won color awards on Confession. Had I been the decision maker, <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that I don't love Jay Z. It is not that I didn't love 444 because I loved 444, but. I'm like, nope, you don't get no awards for growing up, my man. I just, doing what you're I guess supposed if they're looking at a whole body of doing. work, it's, to me, is not his best work. But I No, it's th- not his I best, but I was... enjoyed it. Like, I, I didn't like a couple of his last projects, and I enjoyed, I, en- I, I ended up, 444 grew on me, because at first I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And then it grew on me. Like, it grew on me, and now I really enjoy it. Yeah, that whole scene with them in the front row losing was very awkward for me. Because we're just so used to seeing them win, you know? I know. But they're so winning in life. Awkward. They're winning in life. And they uh, were gracious. I mean, he's like worth 800. I Googled him last night like, oh, he's up to 800 million now? Mm-hmm. Wow, pow. They were the best looking things there. Like, I my, I can't ever look like Beyonce. So I just, no, I can ever never. I could literally lives. never. When people post that you could never memes, I'm like, yeah, that's about me. Because mm-hmm. I can't. <laughs> Anyway, that's enough trash for today. Let's move yeah. on to shout out to my sis. Let's do it. Let's do it. My sis is popping right now. Like It's time for shout out to my sis. Because my sis is popping right now. Yeah. So we have an email here from a listener um, by the name of Jasmine. Jasmine writes, uh, Hi, cousins Jade and Kia. First and foremost, this podcast is so necessary. Six O's in my life. I really do appreciate both of your inputs on getting grown. And other than the success of all the goals you've set individually and collectively, my hope 
to you both this year are that you are reminded daily of how essential you two are to myself and so many others. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you. Um, she was, she's currently listening to the Goals episode, and it is most definitely the perfect episode to start the year off with. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, she, I foresee myself having my most successful year yet because of this whole smart strategy. I had never heard it before until you guys mentioned it, so thank you for that. I have a high school friend by the name of Kenneth Worrells Jr., uh, that started a 2017 success planner last year, and the new new planner for the year 2018 is bigger and better. Last year's planner helped me achieve so many goals. It breaks your planning down into three-month intervals, four quarters of the year that can help you pace yourself between long- and short-term goals. I absolutely think it would be a perfect accessory to the SMART goal method that you mentioned. Um, I already had it in mind to email you about this around Christmas, but never got around to it. And as soon as I heard the kitchen table topic for this episode, I told myself that this would have been the perfect time for you to mention the planner. Um, attached, so she gave us the planner to check it out. I had a chance to do that, um, but yeah, the planner is available for five dollars. You can download a digital copy, or you can get a spiral binder hard copy for twenty dollars, which I believe is sold out. But <laughs> either way, um, um, I think you, there's like a wait list or something. There's a fifteen percent discount on package deals as well. Um, the planner can be found at Kenneth's website, which is www.kennethworldsjr.com. Um, and yeah, she gave us some information about Kenneth, the author and gave us, a um, um, all the ins and outs of the planner itself. I agree. Jasmine really, uh, covered, or is it Jasmine? My apologies. Um, yeah, cause it's spelled one way at the top and another way at the bottom. So I'm going to say Jasmine. Um, so Jasmine really laid out, uh, all of the key points of the planner, mm -hmm. um, the three-month intervals, the four-quarter planning. Um, it, is, it is actually a great supplement to the SMART goal method that we introduced in our goals episode. So I thought it would be awesome if we could shout out our bro, Kenneth, um, by way of Jasmine, and see you guys over to uh, check out the planner and download it. Because, I mean, it's five bucks, um, but it will absolutely save you lots of time. There's mm -hmm. great worksheets and and um, things that you can follow along with and really kind of keep track of the goals that you're setting for yourself this year. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Jasmine, thank you, Jasmine. Jasmine, for sending that in. And, Kenneth, we wish you all the best. Hopefully you guys will be able to check out the planner um, and let us know what you guys think. It's a 2018 success plan. Um, yeah. I need to get a um, hard copy. Yeah. You know how I am about writing things down. Mm -hmm. So I need to write things down. I'm not a digital girl. <laughs> I try to be a digital girl. I try girl. to write things down, but it's like I end up writing them mm -hmm. all over the place. I so bought me a planner. I, I, I'm a sticky note girl, phone. too. So I bought me a planner and a pen that says, bitch, you can't read. Ooh. And oh. it, it came Ooh, with so a bookmark. Harsh. It came with a bookmark. I thought it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Like this is offensive. A little bit, right? Okay. I don't know. I love Throwing it. me off my <laughs> whole path. I love it. I love it so much. So oh. yeah, <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I'm much more of a digital girl. I I use my ad calendar like mm -hmm. religiously, and I use the notes feature on my laptop and my computer. Do and you I use, use Evernote? I don't. Oh, I used to That's use pretty Evernote. good. Too. I'm, I don't. I I think I have it, but I haven't used it because I really do use like the notes thing. Like my notes is like pretty offensive. Like I use my look notes. at all these. Oh, notes. Takia, you don't even gotta tell me. <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 I Takia think be having like... full on dissertations, <laughs> dissertations, dissertations. What do y'all want as notes? And Yo, I one day she like... she was like, I have some notes in my notebook, and she opened it up, and I was like, that's a novel. <laughs> That's not notes. I express but myself. But that's why she's words. so sweet because I'm finna start taking pictures because I'm proud of her. Because I just saw her sitting here talking and reading her notes like, wait, let me pull up my phone to hear pictures. Such a mom. Oh, my little sis. Always, oh. always doing this to me. <laughs> get, on, oh get on the gram, girl. Get, oh, my God. Get on the gram. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe so this is proud. happening. proud. <laughs> Don't put me on Instagram with this dry face, please. Wow, Girl. Sash, you look beautiful. I need I some of them can't. eyelashes. I can't. I can't. Toya does this nice. all I'll, the time. I'll put a little filter for you. Thank yeah, you. Do that. We, we was looking. Toya was at Typing Fast tweakers. and Taking Care of DC, and everyone was like, "Your best friend was was cracking me up because she was Cause always Toya do that again mother. so I can record it. <laughs> <laughs> do that again." Nobody was more irritating than Keisha, though, in that damn posing. Oh, my gosh. She was so funny. <laughs> Shout Keisha? out to Keisha. <laughs> I was over it. Keisha was like, okay, now hold it. 
Hold it, please. <laughs> oh Thank you. Can you please hold it? Yo, y'all, y'all so had, we, I laughed so much that night. I really had fun with y'all. We had so much fun. Mm-hmm. And we're working on um, the next Type and Fast and Taking Care uh, event. Hey! hey. So Billy Rock! Ding, 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 Everyone, ding, 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 ding. Keep a real G in your prayers. I'm yes. trying to keep everything going. Um, you know, we doing stuff, we're getting grown, we're doing stuff with our own respective brands Mm -hmm. and also trying to like maintain our jobs. (laughs) And it's a struggle, but we doing it. I'm currently failing. (laughs) (laughs) F. Currently failing. (laughs) Like miserably failing. I was harassing (laughs) Takia in the phone like, you know what? I'm going to leave her alone. No. You have a 50 night in this (gasps) class right now. We are struggling. It is a full struggle. (laughs) I'm taking a podcast class though on Saturday so I'm going to get myself together. Wait, what's a podcast class? Podcast class. We need to enroll. It's only 25 dollars <laughs> where you get it from? well what do well, they, they teach, teach you they're gonna teach me how to edit and like oh, ma- mix my stuff oh, and, yeah. you know, like and learn different things and ins and outs of producing a podcast my like, nigga. which is essential it's yeah. essential you know so I can't yeah wait i cannot wait i can't wait yeah. all right that's shout out to my sis let's move on to the kitchen table <laughs> boom you know who we forgot to talk about? Childish Gambino. Oh, my God. I knew I was Takiya. forgetting somebody. I'm going to need you to really, okay. like... Well, what did he do? He oh, sang sis. He flat-footed. sang his little ass did off. Did not move. Did he sing My God. Didn't move his feet until Nothing. it was time for him to two-step. Well, two what steps. did he sing? Sis. I don't even they know. <laughs> he sang off of his album. He sang an album off his... Some no, no, no. Not, um, not Red album. Bull. But he, he really did sing. He oh, when sang. I tell you, baby boy sang his sang. face off. I'm excited to hear that. Yeah. He is a very talented. I, he that's is. somebody I, I love. Him. I missed the mark on him as yeah. far as music. Oh yeah. no. I, I missed the mark on him. him. This last album was. I would so love to good. see him in concert. I would too, actually. Love to. That was amazing. Yeah, throw that in there, Ty, because he was good. I knew I was forgetting somebody, and it was sitting with me. I was like, there's something else. Yeah, and he looked so nice. That he white suit. He looked so good with his tapered suit. Yeah, you like know, he I love a man in a fitted suit. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Fitted suit. Yeah. Tight ankles. Because I cannot well, stand ankles. a man in a baggy ass <laughs> suit. No Steve Harvey's. Well, Steve kind of got himself together, huh? I'm sick of Steve. Well, always he's <laughs> old Steve. I'm not speaking to him <laughs> still. <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. He's just irritating. I know. When he, I don't like how he blamed Marjorie for like when he when he um he blames Marjorie for everything. <laughs> he blamed, like when he went to go see Donald Trump and everyone was like, "Why you do that?" Oh, he, he was said like, Marjorie My wife told said, me. And we was like, "No." Why would you throw that. your wife under the bus that. like he that? Did and say then that. when 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 at the New Year's Eve thing when he had on uh, Blue Ivy's coat when he had that white <laughs> coat. That oh, white coat yeah, with the belt yeah. and the brooch. He said, Marjor- yes. Marjorie put him in. Talking about Marjorie put me in. I said, man, <laughs> sir. Stop that. Are you not a grown man with arms? I'm so sick of him. Because you put him in that coat. You could, just like you can I don't like off. his style at all. I don't. Never he's such have, a bama. Will. But Marjorie, but he's real country. Marjorie, he's hitting. I'm not going to say it. Never mind. Marjorie be hitting. What? Marjorie is bad. Goals, honey. Bad. Mm-hmm. Goals. And his daughter. Oh, Hennessy beautiful. looks his nice. His daughter is. They was out celebrating her birthday. You in saw that? I saw that on amazing. Tiana Taylor's page. Yeah, looking amazing. Oh, Tiana was with her. Mm-hmm. They seem to I be know, best friends, super which random. was very random. I was oh, very... Steve Harvey's daughter. Yeah, yeah, Lori Harvey and Tiana are like BFFs, like hmm. really close. Yeah, never knew. Well, both of them are uh, rich, wealthy black teens. This well, they true. grew up well, that way. Yeah, true. And so I guess it was. It, it was her 21st birthday or something. and But Tiana's older than her by yes. quite a bit, right? Yeah. Tiana? Tiana's I, a, tale, a, a mother like and a wife. She's like 25. Or is she 20? Was the, did the girl turn 18 or 21? Lori Harvey? I yeah, feel like she said, she said legal. 21. It said legal. I think she's 21. Like she could drink legally. Yeah. Like it said legal. Oh, yeah. Maybe, Maybe it's... I don't know. Yeah, I don't she, know how old the child is. But I know they went to Mexico and Steve Harvey was there and it was Tiana Taylor and Steve Harvey... And a whole group of people. Yeah, the the parents came. It was it was mm-hmm. odd, but you know whatever. They it's said they they looked like they was having a time in their life. Tiki, let me go ahead on and get the proud moment. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be so tired of me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, all right. Um. Whoop, whoop. So yeah. Hennessy, Hennessy, Cardi B's sister look nice. Huh? She did. She look did. Nice. She's a beautiful girl. She is a really pretty girl. She's a beautiful girl. I love that that Hennessy and Cardi was on the on the red carpet together, like and had so much fun in that style box. Mm-hmm. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like oh, they need to put it one of them old photos with the black shadows. One face, look at Kendrick. 
Kendrick is looking. He be giving me such cuteness, even with the anime. It's I just love like him, him and like, Noah have the same hair. He looks like Splinter. <laughs> Stop, Master, yes, Splinter. Master, Splinter. Like Master Splinter. Yes, Master Splinter. I know. <laughs> I was trying to get the correlation with the um, this that scene, but it's just going over my head. So. That's his um, Kung Fu Kenny. That's his. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's his thing. I can't. Master Splinter used to say something that I can't remember it right now, but every time I see him, I'd be like, he looks like he Master Splinter. He does look like Master Splinter. All right. Kenny, <sighs> ain't nobody praying for me. Today's podcast is brought to you by RX Bar. RX Bar is a whole food protein bar made with a few simple, clean ingredients, which all serve a purpose. Egg whites for protein, dates to bind, and nuts for texture. Pause. Pause. <laughs> And in the interest of full transparency, all the core ingredients are labeled right on the front of the package. No BS. They're perfect for breakfast on the go, a snack at the office, an afternoon snack, anything. Better yet, beyond being a go-to snack that checks off a number of nutritional boxes, RX Bar tastes delicious. Whether you like sweet or savory, chocolate or fruit flavors, there's an RX Bar for you. I know me and my husband love the blueberry, the chocolate peanut butter, the strawberry. They're all delicious. For 25% off your first order, visit rxbar.com forward slash grown and enter promo code grown at checkout. That's rxbar.com forward slash grown. Promo code G-R-O-W-N for 25% off your first order. Kitchen table talk time. Hey, hey, hey. (laughs) You better make up a song. (laughs) Um, So (laughs) this week. Oh, we don't have any snacks. We're in the studio. We have bottles of water. Bottles of oh, nice and I am water. so hungry. We're, I'm I mean, starving. Finna hear We're my hydrated. stomach growl. <laughs> starving. I'm starving. Like, We're gonna get. Food can we get something to eat after? Some fruit. Anybody got some fruit snacks? No. No, but we B don't. Did. We don't have <laughs> Beyonce's movie purse. Next I don't want to we'll get cussed out by Beyonce for trying to eat that child's snacks, even though I tried to sneak I too. I feel like I she would love share. her so much. Like, I don't of understand course the why baby she is share. not my friend. Who, Beyonce? Yes. I've been saying that so long. Oh, you be like, God. what? Beyonce. I don't understand why she's not my friend. Oh, I know. I think that we would all just have good ha-has and kiki. I feel the, time. the same way. Oh I feel like she's our kind of lady. Yes. So much fun. For sure. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing. Please, just let me do this. I just got a text message because you know my mother re- refuses to remove me from the group text. The group text where her and her sisters. Can't you remove yourself? No, because they all have iPhones. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Don't you hate that? <laughs> Can't you do not disturb me? <sighs> I often do, but. but um, <laughs> and they always do it with like 50 people in there. So that many, joint. and I don't it's have It's literally most of their six numbers. people in here, but my aunt has a Honda, and the Honda has a. Uh, Today made like 247,000 miles, and she's so proud. She's like, look at Grace. She named her car Grace. <laughs> look what Grace did today. She's got a few squeaks, but she's still going strong. And she took a picture of the of the dash you know, and, and sent Angela it to us. Angela be cracking me up. I'm just like, girl, don't nobody care. Angela, I'm surprised. Did she post it on Facebook? Or no, that's, that's my other aunt. That's oh, my, that's okay. my, I my aunt. Was a- Angela. No, no. I'm sure she'll be here soon with her commentary. <laughs> <laughs> I love Takiya's family. <laughs> they are just so much. I love them dearly. Me and Takiya's, our moms have the same birthday. Yes. I know. Oh my gosh. And so. that means that they both, both are of irritating. our mothers <laughs> irritate us in very similar ways. Yeah. Same. And I'm sure my mother's birthday is nowhere near your mother's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we are Somehow. Just, Somehow. Somehow. Oh my She's gosh. just as irritating. <laughs> oh, it is just... It is just really something. I love your mom, though. She tells me she loves me every time she's on the phone. I think it's the sweetest thing in the world. Yeah, she's, she's so sweet. She'd be like, love you. She's nuts. <laughs> so That's sweet. my boo, though. Mm-hmm. That's my boo. All right, at the kitchen table this week, we thought it would be fun to talk about style. Yes. The first, uh, I mean, the last couple of episodes have been kind of, you know, um, what do I want to say? Like, heavy? Like, Whatever. but kind of like corporate or workplace specific. But we just, yes. I thought it would be cool to kind of mix it up a little bit and talk Relax. about... Something that's a little bit more fun, but still pertinent to, like, how you present and what your brand is. So, um, and I found a really cool online resource that I think we're, we're going to do on the air, but I think if, uh, I'm going to share it with you guys because I think it'll be uh, fun. So, um, do you guys have style style icons? Like, who do you guys think looks great all the time? And, like, why? why what do you love about their personal style? Let's go with our guest. Oh, Okay. Uh, well, I like I was saying before, I'm always looking at Rashida. I, what is her last name? Frost. Frost. Does no, she, we're not going to even acknowledge that it is Frost. But <laughs> no. I mean, 
from I watch Rashida a lot because that's a woman of my age mm-hmm, range, mm-hmm. and she looks. I think she dresses very appropriate yes. for her age. Yes. So I watch her a lot, and I watch Tracy Ellis Ross a Woo! lot. Queen However, mother. some things she be all some, some, some things throw me. Something and they're just not for me, but you know, because I think that quirk, uh, Tracy style is pretty quirky. It's quirky, yeah. So I think you that, that and that that does suit her personality, yeah. but it doesn't translate well across like other people. Yeah, like the pajama trend is not <laughs> fitting for me, but I can get it because it looked nice on her. You right. know what I mean? But like, right. I'm not finna go out and buy that. Right. I'd love like, to just because I love pajamas and being and people are just straight up wearing pajamas in the streets now with slides. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just, going to work. The slides That's thing. <laughs> the slides thing. Like the mule thing. Like, you know how the With Gucci the loafers yeah. and yeah. Target and I a bunch it. of other people are making like knockoff like yeah. slides. I and like, I if you're going to get slides, it. you've got to get the Gucci ones. Like, <laughs> don't come out here, you know what I'm saying, with Your just fab, just fab shoe dazzle slides. <laughs> like, you're not, it's just. Aldo. No. No, oh, we're gonna. No. It's either you're gonna do it or all you're no. not. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> go all in. I can't pay the eight hundred. I can't pay the, the thousand. Sis, I told y'all call last day. week that I couldn't. I wasn't gonna revisit the mules trend. I can't do it. I don't mind a certain mule. What is they give it? What's the, the mule they, when the it don't have? No, they don't have the back. Backless. Like you literally. Oh yeah, I, I don't got ankles for that. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, girl? Because the way my ankles are set up, they like real skinny. <laughs> Shout out to Jean, my mom, for giving me that. <laughs> So they like real skinny, but the heels is kind of big, <laughs> <laughs> and it just don't. So your your heel is bottom. It heavy? don't sit well on it's the mule, heavy. yeah. And you it looks pear shaped heels. No, because it looked like my ankles finna snap like at any moment <laughs> when I have them on. So they don't really sit well for me. Not seriously, like right. they don't look good. Right. You know, like I, I like a mule. I don't mind a mule. I have a long foot, so mules are like I'm tall. And I don't know if it's just like a totally just in my head thing, but when I look down, just kind of like Chucks and other other like really super flat shoes, I got to be able to look down and not feel like my foot looks like a cross country ski. Yeah. Nothing irritates me more than a big old fat ass foot and a Chuck though. You don't have fat feet. I don't have fat but feet. Nothing, I don't know I what it is. I know it's feet. irrational. I know you can't help the width of your <laughs> feet. But nothing How do you irritates. even know that the foot is fat? I, because you can see it I busting can. through the fucking <laughs> oh all star seams. I don't like, think I've ever seen anybody <laughs> bust through a pair of Chucks. I feel the trade and when oh I see like God. big sizable <laughs> niggas with with chucks on their feet don't it be look oh god I hate it it looks like bread like it's terrible I hate not it so much a loaf. that is wrong it with does you. it was a fat ass foot in a chuck it's not it's just not meant you have to dress for your body type head to toe oh my god like <sighs> sis who are your style icons please <laughs> look, I'm, I'm like, tired of you I love Tracy Ellis Ross as well uh-huh. um I love Lisa Bonet <laughs> I totally see Denise Huxtable when I see Jade. <laughs> like, yeah, this makes all I can see I that. Love her. Yeah, I would you and probably... the hubby be looking real cute on the ground, <laughs> real fruits you know, and I berries. Like Denise. <laughs> and you, you know, do. we eat she hay. Is absolutely, you know, Denise we Huxtable. pick hay outside and we pick our teeth with it. Like, it gives me that. <laughs> like, it's I so made my cute. own deodorant. Yeah, no, I make my own. Shea like, butter. she stay. She got a Trader Joe's like coupon card. Like, she stay in Trader yeah, Joe's. Yeah, right. mm-hmm. You might Lifetime go to Whole Foods, members. but you're really not no. trying to spend eight hundred dollars for two pieces of. Fruit. I dead ass try to wear Tims with everything that I can. I like, think that's cute. I wore them with a dress out the other night. Like I just really try to wear them with everything possible. I love comforts. I love Lisa Bonet. I love Tracy Ellis Ross because I don't mind. I like to do it up sometimes. And Rihanna, my girl Rihanna. Oh yeah, I could dig her. I love Rihanna as well, but I think Lisa and. Um, Erica. Yeah. Erica. Sometimes she's too much in outer space. It's for way me. too much. For me. Yeah. <laughs> way too much. I, I mean, think she's there's, there's way too much. There's certain things she's, that I probably like she's in when the, she wears mm-hmm. the uh, she's Mr. Tumnus heels uh-uh. with the two she's hooves. Otherworldly. The hooves, Intergalactic. Hills. I can't. You know, she got the fortune cookie shoes. She They're does. like folded in the front. Yeah. <laughs> she does. And I don't, I... that's not really my aesthetic. Mm-hmm. But um, if I could pick from all of them and kind of put that together, that's mm-hmm. that's kind of my jam. Yeah. All right. I mean, I think. Now, the, see, well, yeah, you what about said, you? Now, Eve looked amazing. Eve last looked amazing. Night. Eve looked good. I liked her red carpet suit better than I liked the onstage presentation. I did not like oh, that. Oh, yeah. That, I didn't uh, catch that. I love that medieval guy, whatever that was. I saw, I, I saw that Old was red, English, but I really was wasn't it? paying attention. Um, it was like a necklace that, that was missing a shirt. 
Oh. Eve looks Eve looked amazing last night on she the red did. carpet. Not so much on the on the stage. I don't like that. Uh, but um, for me, I mean, you know, Tracy Ellis Ross is one. Um, she doesn't nail it all the time, but just in terms of like the silhouettes that I love, mm-hmm. I think Fantasia dresses her body very well. Okay. I love it's her dresses. Her stylist now, right? Isn't yeah, like, like she's Leslie just changed. Girl? Yeah, she's just changed I, her stylist I, I recently. Oh, she changed from Lashawn. Lashawn. No, no, no. I'm saying she wasn't. She was with. Wasn't she with somebody else before she was with Lashawn? Oh, I don't Cause know. Because I think her team is like on right now. Because she got killed pretty on the face. Okay. And the young man that's doing. I can't. What? Um, like I can't think of his name. But Not the dude that's doing J-Bone. her. No, Baby. stylist Jay Bolin. He does Sarah Jakes. Mm-hmm. Um, and a, and a few Which other people. She's been looking nice. Yes. Lately. Yes. Oh yeah, she we enjoy it. all the time. She's another. I I, I love I love her. Um, who else? Uh, okay, I had a list. Oh, Beyonce, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And there was one more. Um, Janelle Monae. Yeah. H- however, last night. Yeah, that flowers. The, oh, the I'm not sprint. a big fan of the florist, uh, but I feel. Like, <laughs> oh. I feel like she. I like the fact that she has the uniform. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I love that. Because, I mean, y'all I know like I like black and black it. and white. Huh? I like, like, why she wears it. Well, yeah, totally, well, totally. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I also think that she comes up with really creative ways. Yeah. Um, and so, I like and her style. it makes style. it look like it's color. Right. right. You know what right. I mean? Or so like she, it's a brand new how she plays with texture mm-hmm. and patterns and things like that. Um, and it's just fun to watch her. I can uh, totally see you being a Janelle Monae, though. Yeah, I, love that. I can see it. I mean, I just... I, some of the stuff that she does, I'm scared to do because I'm, we're not built the same way. Like she's a very small, very petite girl, mm-hmm. right? Um, but I think I, I really, think overall. yeah, I think like overall, those are those are some of my faves. Um, you see Ashanti up there, right? Ashanti looks nice. You thought you liked Ash- that dress? I mean, this this is giving me a little Glenda the Good. I was like, I think it she looked like she was going much, to the Wiz. Yeah, it did. It's, look so, it's giving me. Wizzy. I mean, it's Wizzy, it's very Wizzy. <laughs> It is very wizzy. And I don't think that this is like a Grammys look. If she was going to like... The Tonys. Or something. I was like, okay, I can see that. on the stage. Tony Awards. The Tony Awards. I didn't love it. I'm not a huge, And she's got such a banging body, she could have done something. SZA looked nice as well. SZA's so cute. SZA looked nice on the red carpet. Yeah, but she... what in the fresh fuck was she wearing on the stage? I, I don't know. Her whole performance to me was a little off, but I my very unpopular opinion. I'm not, is I'm, that I'm not a scissor team. I don't, I'm, I'm not a scissor team. And I've girl. really tried to get team. with the girl, but I just don't ever know what she's talking about. I, like I honestly don't bops. think it's for people in their thirties. I don't think so. I'd be like, either. what is No, like, actually no, because Dustin loves SZA, Fran loves SZA. I just think that I was talking to Tristan last night on the way home from Crystal's and I was like, you know, there's like two clubs within our friend group. <laughs> I was like, there's like the SZA fans and then the non SZA fans. <laughs> is it a club yeah. though? It's not really a club. Because I think it's, just, it's like, just what is her songs? Because I be trying to remember. We're just all kind of the same. Love. What's the song like? That? I can't even think of I nothing. I don't know any of it. Because when I hear it, I be like, oh, who's that? And they be like, that SZA. I'm like, oh, okay, that's squint, cute. Squint, squint, but I forget. Guess. That's right. what she says. And I, forget yeah. I like Nisi Nash too. Nisi Nash always looks good. Yeah, she's been snatched. Like, did she's she, been, did she's she got, suck out that fat? No, she's vegan. Oh, oh. So she was able to keep them hips in that she's tail. She's vegan and them boobs. Mm-hmm. She's still stacked up, honey. Still stacked up. She but yeah, those are my best life with her boo. Uh, do you know who I wish that, you know, who I think is adorable? This is not a question that I had planned, but I think she's adorable. I want somebody to work with her as far as like her style is concerned because I love her. Tiffany Haddish. Same. Yeah, I, I want her. I want a. I want a whole new look for her. <laughs> we got to get a <laughs> like, team. Her I team needs hair to be team. revitalized. I want a. Yeah. I want makeup team yeah. and her styling. Like, and I get that. You know, I mean, she's probably yes still. I mean, she's still very involved in how she looks, and I think that's totally fair. But I think that she needs to let you know some some other people give her some. I'm sure uh, she will though eventually. In time. Right. Now yeah. she got that Groupon money coming in, you know what she, I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sure she will. She said, my, my girl is working, so yeah, she's going to she'll she'll get I'm some help. Not mad mm-hmm. at all. So yeah, let's move on cuz we get stuck in these places. All right. So, uh <laughs> think about okay, so let's talk about style evolution. Is there anybody you can think of whose style has changed over the years like for the better? So like we were talking about Tiffany Haddish and she needs some change. Who's somebody who has started out and we was like, uh, but they've gotten better and better. Well, for better. sure, Fantasia. For sure, Fantasia. That was like, she was like, she was giving that was a, 
Bama. extreme Beyonce. transformation. Oh, Beyonce. Beyonce. Well. Oh, Cardi Beyonce. B. We can't talk about transformations without talking about Cardi B. Now you know what's crazy is that I never was a, I never watched Cardi B. I I only know this Cardi B. Oh, well, I mean, I never, never, never watched Love and Hip Hop. I never watched Love and Hip Hop. I mean, and also Nicki Minaj. Yes. Oops, that was noisy. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, like, I'm just yeah, thinking, Nikki's think colored wigs, real high fashion, and now. now she's trying to get. You know who's Benjamin Buttons in their style? Alicia hmm. Keys. Oh, she's going backwards. Yeah. Child, when she came out, I said... Them Lisa Frank braids. Leave her. But she's still a very beautiful girl. She Gorgeous. Very, very beautiful girl. She, she be tired. on stage high boots. <laughs> <laughs> is it that or is that just naturally how she is? I don't know. <laughs> I think she's high. I'm just going to go with high. <laughs> I'm trying to think about some transformation. She was up there last night and she right. just looked zooted. She just is like, Beyonce's you know come a long way from Beyonce Tina's has sewing come a long machine. Way. Yeah. Beyonce's well, come so Tina. Tina has come a long Tina way. Tina has come a long way. Tina knows. Because House of Dem is wrong. <laughs> Dem is wrong. House of Dem is there wrong. There we are. We try not to mention it, but we have to remember every now and again so that we stay humble. Do you know who else? And I was going to say, this is a style icon. I think Mary J has stepped the game up, stepped oh, her yeah. game up considerably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, My girl grew up. See, but also, is it, sometimes I'll be thinking, is it stepping the game up or is it just those certain eras where people was just looking a hot ass mess? <laughs> that's true. You know I, what I mean? I also think it's fair to say that, you know, as people get older, they just kind of like tone down. Right, like J-Lo. Also, I mean, let's talk, even like older people like Oprah. Like lately, oh, Oprah no. has been giving. Honey, her waist has been snatched. That Weight the Watchers, Globes. the freestyle program. She's found a comfortable place. I, yeah. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> and I I'm not Stemin mad. Stemming is like, when we get home, girl, <laughs> she's found a comfortable place. Face down, <laughs> ass up. <laughs> Stemming. Yeah. And she be like, boy, you so crazy. Get out of my face. You said Stedman You play so down much. Ass up or Oprah? Be quiet, Jay. You're I'm so not going to do that. Oh Don't gosh. do that to my uncle. <laughs> that's your uncle. Stop talking about me. <laughs> that's that's, that's the uncle. You never knew they weren't married. Side. Stop yeah. talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> so that being said, we're thinking about how people getting older and kind of like refining and improving themselves mm-hmm. as um, as you get older um, and, and your style continues to evolve. We thought, would you, okay, we thought it would be cool to talk about like how to define your own personal style. So would you say that right now you have a personal style? you like, my style is three words. Oops. No. Mm-hmm. No? Actually. No. And it's so no. funny because she was talking about style. I was like, girl, I feel like I'd be out here looking a hot ass mess. No. Like, I'd be looking a mess. And she's no. like, no, I just think you're so stylish. Yeah. Like, you. So you know, when people girl, I'm, I'm here stylish, with a shirt that won't close it. on my tits. <laughs> an like, I keep popping out the shirt. Same. It's an aesthetic. Like, no, but I'm, you have a clear aesthetic. I got on no socks with my sneakers <laughs> right now. My ankles is ashy. <laughs> Yo, you but really style is cool. more than just clothes, right? <laughs> so like is. we no, were talking true. about like how Fantasia, uh, what is that man's name? Who does her? His name is Derek, I think. Um, I'm gonna look it up. But her, she's got a new hair person. You know who? I'm sorry. Who you are? know who always looks good? Who? She's not in my personal style, but she always looks good. Arian from um, Love and Hip Hop. Uh, Mimi. Olu Mimi's best friend. Oh, yeah. Arian. 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 I know you talking Arian. about. Yeah, the dark skin girl. The dark skin girl. Mm-hmm. I like her. Yeah. She always looks good. She Even though here lately, good for her. she's been she's been kind of caught up in the mess here lately. Oh, but, actually, um, I don't know anything. Oh, yeah, I don't follow. Well, I don't really, I mean, I just feel like her, the last time she's been on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, oh, like yeah. it's always been like steeped in mess. Oh, I, I, I just <laughs> like mean as far steeped. as her clothing is concerned. Like she always looks good. Like she always puts to, looks put together. She mm-hmm. doesn't look cheap. Um, I'm, But I'm sorry, sis. I, I, We're supposed to be talking about our style. We are, yes. yes. So I was saying like, you know, style is more than... <laughs> Style is more than back, just Jay. your clothes, like you know, just how you choose to dress your body. But yes. it is representative of like your how, how you present, from hair and skincare to makeup, all of that kind of plays together. I found a really really cool um, link online that's like how to define your personal style in five mm. simple steps. Yes, oh, let's super do that. And I thought that we, if we uh, did that on the air, it would make for some good chit chat. So I will begin. Um, by asking, how do you feel? Okay, so the ste- the first step is assessing, describing the good and the not so good. The first part of step one, how do you feel when you're wearing a look that you really love? And don't think in terms of like 
specifics about the look that you really love, but how did the clothes that you love, like your favorite ensemble, mm -hmm. what are some words? Like, do you feel confident? Do you feel mm -hmm. classy? Do you feel uh, whatever? Like, what are some, like, think, okay, first let me ask you, what's, like, what's your favorite outfit? Like, name something that you wear and you can, like, you reach for all the time because it makes you feel like Oprah. Like, you're amazing in it. I, I love when I wear thigh-high boots. Like, yes. I feel like, oh. yeah. I feel like thigh-high boots mm. is, like, with this bald head thing. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, like, indeed. it kind of gives, gives me girl. Yeah. Oh, y'all. <laughs> Toya got the best head ever. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Wait. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, what? The we hell? got to she listen. What are talking about? You, no. Jade. 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 Man. Pause. Man. Wrap yourself for your Pause, fans, man. Pause. And I don't want your husband you gotta coming at me talking down. about I want to talk to you as a woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want him in my man, inbox. Man. <laughs> this is why we can never have nice things. I don't want him to I talk to me. I don't want your husband to coming that, to talk though. to me like, whoa, face to whoa, face. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all did that because I didn't even, whoa. my intentions were pure. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> We trying to have we trying to have a Christian conversation I here, Jay. Y'all have the dirty minds. Your minds went there. Mm. Mind went not. Thank you. Anyway, please Too please much. correct yourself. <laughs> Toya has a beautifully shaped <laughs> chrome <laughs> dome. <laughs> it's like it's her mom shaped her head when yes. she was a baby. She rubbed it and. Nah. All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm so done. Man, okay, but yes. Yeah, so. But yes, I do feel comfortable. So, and, I mean, I mean, confident. Confident. In, like thigh high boots. Anything with thigh high boots kind of like really boosts my confidence. Jay, what's your favorite clothing item? My black jeans. Why? Uh, cause they're finally some jeans that fit properly. Like they, <laughs> <laughs> they don't be all gapped in the back and. <laughs> You know, they fit my booty nice. That's nice. What kind of jeans are they? Uniglow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they tall enough for me? I they think have so. longs. Okay. We'll have to, I, I don't Man, have a pair. Long jeans are stressful. For you, know. because you're not long. I, I look like Steve Harvey <laughs> when I talk about her. All that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> for me, my favorite, one of my favorite things, I love pencil skirts. Yes, oh, you yeah, do. you do. You do look good in those. You do. I so love a pencil skirt. skirt. Nice I love I love pencil skirts. When I wear my pencil skirts, I feel uh, like empowered. I feel very classy and yeah. like womanly. I don't know. Because nothing could tell her. You can't tell her nothing in that picture where she got the fur around her mouth. What? And what? that toe All pointed that like a ballerina. All I that best. Oh, that's not she what is. this is about right now. <laughs> all that, but you saw all that back. Uh, that's not what this is about right mm -hmm. now. Oh, so, I like a kimono too. Why? Do, why do you like kimonos? How do kimonos make you feel? Jay? They make me do you feel wear them free. All the time? <laughs> they make you feel free. You wear them all the time, Jay. I do. I love them. I love me a good overthrow. So give me three words, three adjectives. So your kimono makes you feel one, two, three. Give me three adjectives. Free, free, comfortable, comfortable. Sexy. Sexy. Boom. Your thigh high boots. <laughs> now remember that. Write that down. Do something. I was about to say, give me a pen because this girl's taking <laughs> us. Is this class? It's not class, but we're going to have to use this information oh, let me get this to pen. define our personal styles. Oh, the pen doesn't say, bitch, you can't read just the bookmark. Okay. Oh, my word. Can I have a piece I'm of so, paper? Oh, my gosh. We're so unprepared. Miss Robinson. Oh, my I God. I actually have a, a little notebook. All right. So you said your... Uh, yeah, you said free, confident, and sexy. I said free, comfortable. Comfortable, <laughs> sorry. And for your thigh-high boots, your three words are? Um, confident, mm -hmm. uh, edgy, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess sexy. Yeah. 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 I, I'm going to say uh, sophisticated. Mm. I'm going to say uh, um, class. No, classy and sophisticated are too close. I'm going to say em empowered. And I'm going to say chic. Boom. Boom. That makes <laughs> sense for you. So, <laughs> how do you... Okay, so... Uh, all right, think of something that you don't love. Like, give me an article of clothing that you have and you wear it and you're just like, I don't know why I wear this. I'm not really that jazzed about it. Do you have something in mind? Oh, my sweatpants. Okay. Your sweatpants? You don't love your sweatpants? Nah, not these. Oh, there's a particular pair. I have not pair. found the right sweatpants for me yet, and I always look um, 
the I crotch look looks like dumpy. Because like, <laughs> that happens to me. Yeah, like dumpy or manly. Yeah. <laughs> And so I haven't found the sweatpants that I like to wear. Like my my homegirl had on a little track suit this weekend. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is cute to run around and you can throw on some sneakers and you don't, you know, you out here, you look, you look fine. Okay. My sweatpants have me looking like uh, Cleo from Set It Off. (laughs) (laughs) What? All right. So your three words. Straight backs and a wife beater. Your three words for these sweatpants are dumpy, manly, and what? Dumpy. Manly and homely. <laughs> Latoya, what is your article of clothing that you are not too too thrilled about? I mean, I'm not thrilled with anything right now because oh I am weighing. I like I've gained so much oh weight. I'm not laughing yet. So yet. you know you are. But <laughs> it's fine. It's completely fine. Um, so I guess because I'm just not feeling comfortable in anything lately. Mm. Hence why I've hired a, a personal trainer. But Ooh, good for you. Uh, I guess I mean I just feel uncomfortable. So what am I supposed to be saying? So think of one that one thing and give me three words that that like you know when you wear this. Go you, back to that picture you posted the other day and you was like, "Ooh, I miss her," and it was an old picture of you. Think about what you was wearing and you'd be like, "Ooh." I hate this. Oh, no. Like, so I hate. Yeah. Like, what is the article of clothing that you don't like? How does that make you feel? Fat. Is it, okay, so fat. <laughs> yeah. How do you How do you feel when you're wearing something that you don't love? Fat. I feel fat and um, it actually makes me feel vulnerable. Okay. Oh. So, like, I'll kind of, like. I don't, well, I can't never be introverted, but like something in me on the inside, like just feels a little vulnerable and I will like talk to myself real evil, you know, on the inside. Yeah. I'm very critical on it uh, and to myself, like you look a hot mess girl. Like Mm. I can't stand the way you look right now. Right. That kind of stuff. That's what it does. So your three words are fat, fat, vulnerable and and uncomfortable. Okay. Mm. So I am thinking of one particular pair of black slacks that I have. That I do not like because the cut is not a cut that is, you know, it's I have a hard time with these pants. <laughs> because they give you like mom crotch. They don't give me mom crotch, but because of their they're kind of tighter in the thigh. What is mom crotch? I don't know what mom crotch is. Because all of our moms have crotches. <laughs> I don't know what mom crotch is. There's like a mom crotch, a particular like way your pants sit up on you where you'd be looking like, mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, my these pants are too tight. Thi- they're too tight in the thigh, mm-hmm. and um, they just don't fit me well. Like they're mm-hmm. ill-fitting pants. Mm-hmm. So I too feel very self-conscious in these pants because mm-hmm. I'm always like, I don't know. They're not the best quality. I feel like you know I'm, I could rip them at any given moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, you know, I'm just not. I wear them because you know they're one of the few. I don't like to wear pants for this reason because. I'm a taller girl with longer legs. I have big thighs and a big butt and big hips. So sometimes it's hard to get all a pant that suits all of those needs. Yeah, me too. Um, so, um, yeah, the pants that I'm thinking of, I don't like them because they make me feel self-conscious. And um, I'm uncomfortable and uh, annoyed by them. So yeah. Those are annoyed my th- is a good annoyed. one. Annoyed. I'm like, oh my God. Oh, Takiya, you got that. That's a good one. <laughs> we can have. We can have. That is true because when I put on my sweatpants, because I, I be got legit booty, annoyed, be but still irritated. be wearing it though, walking out like, ugh. Like, uh, I know I got diaper booty, but yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Diaper booty. <laughs> All right, so step two in the process of defining your own personal style is sorting. So isolating the do's and don'ts of your style. Um, the step here is to write down all the things that you don't like to wear and all the things that you do like to wear. So in the interest of time, just give me one or two things. Um, <laughs> Or maybe, well, yeah, just give me one or two things that you, like, love to wear. Like, you said thigh high boots is kind of, like, what you think of when you, mm-hmm. you know, want to feel like your best self. But, like, if we're thinking about building a wardrobe, what are things that you generally reach for? Body con dresses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And high waist jeans. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yours, so. Jay? Tim's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Timberland. Timberland. Timberland boots. Um... Yeah, I always jean is great, but I'm not gonna bite off of you. Uh, I love me a good genie pant. Yes, you do, Lisa Bonet. <laughs> <laughs> They're so comfortable, Lisa. Yeah, they like are. you ain't gotta wear Bo. no drawers. 
It's great. It's, or you can wear there. shorts underneath them, and there's no print. I usually wear I wear man's underwear um, underneath my genie pants because they're like it's like wearing shorts. <laughs> we both squinted. <laughs> Real, like, I just it, want you all to know the <laughs> assortment of looks that I get. For my friends, and I don't know why. Like, okay, but the two it looks these heifers have been giving oh my me goodness. All, all recording sessions. So the two things that I love to wear, uh, I like dresses. I like well fit dresses, mm-hmm. um, dresses and skirts. I also, um, I'm going to switch it up a little bit because okay, the things that I love to wear, I wear a lot of black. Yeah, you Same. are the black queen. I love black. Hey, legit, I, mean, I do too. You, do but you try you to legit like, look like you a try to get color? When you go shop IKEA and then you end up with black, most of the time I yeah. try. I want to like, tell is you that something. a sickness? No, I don't think I want. I want to say I used to try. Now I just don't fight it. I'm just you like look good black is what and I black, love. Though, like I, it just I look like a witch, but you. <laughs> I don't think you I do. I think everyone looks amazing. I think, in black. I think it black makes is me one of the look things. Whiter than I am, but <laughs> you like Kia be stepping out looking like Tabitha. All the Especially oh, with Tabitha. this blonde. I, I love, Tabitha. love it. Tabitha is my goal. This blonde with the black is amazing. I'm a big fan. We were we're speaking at a high school Thanks, uh, event tomorrow. I today, wish I could come. <laughs> and oh, I wish you could oh, too. It's today. Yes, yeah, today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Bard High School in Queens. Yes, mm-hmm. and shout out to Grace for reaching out to us and yeah, inviting man. us Hopefully to Hopefully, we event. don't say something terrible oh, and God. not get invited Two, back ever again. One, no, they're hour gonna love segments. you guys. They're fifty minutes, they're but we're gonna, gonna have fun. Guys. That's an hour. It's gonna be fun. But she, so I said, is there anything particular? you want from us and one thing she was like if you guys could wear black that would be great I didn't even have to call Kia because no. I just knew I have a, I have a suitcase full yeah. of black, black. Yeah. all black all black um, so yeah black and and dresses I also like patterns but I know that's weird because I like patterns I wear lots of no, stripes that's not weird. you do polka dots I do polka a lot dots. I, do I like dots. body look nice. dresses but I, I like, like Tim's, stripes. so it's it's fine you, know I mean? you got Tim's I don't have Tim's. Oh, I thought you said I like Tim's. No. I'm like, oh, girl, I ain't me. never seen you in no Timberlands. You have, like, in college, I wore Tim's. But she wears, like, Jordans and stuff, so she can I wear do. Tim's. Ooh, I can see you in some black Tim's. Yeah, you do wear Jordans. I do wear Jordans. Tim's are heavy. Me and stood on line. We did. At 6 o'clock in the morning. We left our dorm at, like, 5 something. For Jordans. I've never, I always, I worked at the foot action in college, so. Mm. Uh, well. Mm. See? <laughs> Must be nice. Right. <laughs> Niggas um, wasn't waiting on the last. So. so, okay. Um, and what are things, give me two things that you don't wear. Like things that you, like, that's not for me. I'm not wearing that. Heels. Oh, crop tops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no go for me. Because they I will know. be asking me, when are the twins due? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Jade says. Shut up, Toya. Jade she says, always says that. She wears, Dead serious. Jade says she doesn't like to wear heels. I don't like heels, and I don't, I don't, what else do I hate? Oh, short pants, capris, or whatever, gaucho, whatever people, whatever the <laughs> shit is called. You're mad. Where they're, because I have short legs. Oh, yeah, they don't, they they're don't not good do for right the, on me. Short, I like, look The ones crazy. that cut off at the knee, you talking about? Yeah, they like, yeah. Cut, or like mid-calf. They shorten you. And I bought more. a pair from Zara, and they're cute, but. And I'll probably still wear them because I had to spend money on them. Yeah, but but if I was rich, I'd throw them away. Yeah, <laughs> because they do. They give you a little like if you're shorter, it gives you like rumple. I look skin. like a oompa loompa. Yeah, yeah. I did read that because I don't think they look good on me either. I'm pretty short. Yeah, you're about. To, aren't we about the same height? Five, 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 six. Oh yeah, we did this. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm like a <laughs> half an inch taller. <laughs> <laughs> you guys it was a bad wear one. me out. Your puff. Your puff is the only reason why. <laughs> Yo, she was so strange. Just, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> two, two things that I don't like to wear. I think um, I would have to say, uh, dang, um, I don't like. I'm not a huge fan of shorts. That's what? Real. As long as your legs are. I don't like them too much because I have big thighs and you yeah. always got like your crotch. It looks like your your yanks is eating your shorts. And you're your always shorts. pulling your shorts. Always yeah, pulling them out. I, I finally stopped height, fighting it though. Heels I will wear them. They have day. to be like really high, high. I mean, really short shorts. Um, but even still, I, I don't feel like way confident in them. 
No, you look fine in shorts. When we were in Barbados, she was looking great. She looks amazing. All these thighs? I think she has all body dysmorphia. Thighs. No, all these thighs. Toya's been telling me she I have body dysmorphia. She has body dysmorphia. <laughs> she does, I, I be looking Toya, at her like, I said okay, the same this thing. is not what this is about. I said the we same are moving thing. forward. I'm over here going to prenatal care. <laughs> you see this? You know what I'm saying? Step and three. she just Nigga, be two Christmas hands. Looking Step like Beyonce. Three. Two Chris- and I still Step I just wear three the shorts. Is <laughs> to get real and identify. Your lifestyle and what you dress for. So, what are the acti- what activities do you do the most, um, and do you dress for those activities? Where do you go every day? <laughs> Work. <laughs> Where do you go every day? Like, does your wardrobe? I guess I'm, this question is more kind of like for thinking through how does your wardrobe line up? Like, is it functional for you? My wardrobe is not functional right now. Why? What? What do you? What do you? Need like what don't you have? What? I ate well. I I need all new things. <laughs> <laughs> like Same. don't fit anything. <laughs> so it's definitely not functional. But right. But what I've been doing lately because I even went to I tried on a size twelve and fourteen at H and M and it shamed me. <laughs> yes, and I did go to H and M recently. <laughs> I did. Mm. So <laughs> you was one of you was one that's of the, not the only thing that's gonna shame you. <laughs> <laughs> I did, and the thing is, is that when I walked in, I completely forgot about it. Yeah. So, but it was, I didn't buy nothing. It was nobody in there, so you probably had I, yeah. room. I, no, it was folks right up in oh, there. It was packed. In the Bay Plaza, the girl. All oh, the folks in, in Co-op City is <laughs> no, in there. No, because we were just talking about last week how the one downtown in Silver Spring was tumbleweeds. So tumbleweeds, and it should be. I when I remember, well, I tried on the stuff, <laughs> and I, I didn't like, buy oh, anything. It did not remember. I was like, yeah, let me get out of here because it's a reason. <laughs> God stopped it. Like, oh. He stopped it. Let me get out of here. Because I usually could fit a 12. But <laughs> so I, you know, I've been doing like stretchy stuff mm-hmm. lately um, and doing like real cute like button ups with the stretch pants and like a heel and just popping on a red lip because I feel like the red lip will like make me feel thin. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So wait a second. Mm-hmm. So, and this is not in any way, you guys know I am. Pro LGBTQIA. Oh, Here we go. What Y'all know I am like number one advocate. But I wore so I dress like I I you know I have I guess a tomboy style from time to time. <laughs> and I had on a, a flannel shirt at work the other day and some jeans and some Tims. Okay. And a, a scully. Okay. And so we had some clients coming in. <laughs> And so I was like, all right, well, I can dress how I want, even when clients come. Mm-hmm. I said, all right, well, if I put on a red lip, no, then I won't look like, you know, I won't yeah. look like I'm I'm getting ready to be on the other end at Sweet Heat. So oh, they still got Sweet Heat? <laughs> yeah, we going. <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> we going. We going, so, Jade. Um, my my coworkers, I said, all right, I'm going to put on a lip. So I put on a red lip right thinking it was just going to save the whole thing, and then I'd just be on my chola. No. They said you look like a lipstick lesbian now. Like, oh, is that what they call it? <laughs> no, they just said I look like a lesbian with uh, lipstick. I think I'm, I'm sure people be thinking I'm gay, straight up. And I down. don't care most of the time because I whatever. I don't care. There's nothing wrong with it. But I was just trying to look a little bit more. But the red didn't it give you feminine. It made you feel. It didn't though. When I put it on, <laughs> no. I just actually looked ridiculous. Uh. <laughs> Did you didn't have? Did you have any other makeup on your face? I didn't. See? Oh well, then that's, that's why. why. There you go, girl. There you go. <laughs> that is why. Wow. But yes, the red lip lately has been making me feel better, and then also just putting on a full beat, right? Just, just to nice go to the laundry mat hey, or something. Shit. Yeah, I mean, Jealous. I got to do shit. <laughs> I have to put some makeup on, so oh and <laughs> so that will make me feel better. You know? Listen, this is not really working out as I planned. But I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to keep on going. Okay. <laughs> Why not? I just I gave you the answer. You did, and it was great. Was I just don't know. Heart? I just feel like, no, it's nobody's fault. I just feel like maybe we should have, I don't know, never mind. But, um, <laughs> should have was. So the, the, the step four is to examine or recognize the specifics from the looks that you love um, and list the top 10 or 20 most worn items or your top three go to outfits or silhouettes. Uh, but I feel like we've kind of done all of that. Like, because, you know, what are the... Oh, we did do our top three. What's our top three go-tos? Yeah, your go-to silhouettes. Your top three go-to outfits. Do you have them in mind? Or can you think of them? So, like, uh, like if we're going to work or if we're going um, She said out. your top three, so... Just okay. Top three. Don't so, where you're going. 
thinking through some of that. I think, yeah. I love, like, mm-mm-mm-mm. Y'all ready? Yep. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Jade. So, um, in the summertime, um, I was real good for an American apparel uh, bodysuit and a skirt. Mm-hmm. I was real good for that. And then I'm... And then if I'm going out, I'm always good for like a bodycon or some kind of dress um, in sneakers <laughs> and uh, or booties if I'm going to just be really dressed up. <laughs> but I absolutely have to. Ankle boots. Ankle boots. Okay. Talk about it because I can't do high boots mm-hmm. like Toya. Knee boots. Um, I have boots. And then I also love me a good genie pant and a midriff. <laughs> You do oh, love you a do midriff. midriff. She does. I'll do it with a genie pant. That's cute. Because it's high waisted. Yeah. That's cute. Um, I'm I'm good for like my go to like for work. Like every day you'll probably find me in some sort of black pant or black bottom with like a top, like a pattern top. Usually black or white <laughs> as well. But it'll be like stripes or polka dots. It'll be a sweater or a button down, but it's always like a black bottom and a top. Um, I also wear lots of all black, like I do wear a lot of skirts, um, or like it'll be a dress. Um, I do do the bodycon and sneakers thing. That's been very real. Mm. And I like to layer that with like either like a long duster Mm -hmm. or a long sweater or cardigan. Um, and, uh, I love a duster. I'm also a huge fan of really quirky accessories. So I feel like I when I'm it's hard for me to describe my clothes because I don't think that they're exciting, but I try to play up the accessories. So I always have a bunch of bangles. I always have on a fun earring. I have started collecting glasses because you know I can't see out my eyes, but like I have fun frames. Mm-hmm. Um, so when I don't feel like having a whole lot or going on, like when my clothes are concerned, I try to punch it up with accessories. That's um, real. Quirky accessories. So whether and I think of things like my hair color and my makeup and my lipstick color. I think of those things as kind of like accessories. So when I, I literally wear like black pants and a shirt everywhere I go. But I try to punch it up with accessories. Toya. Toya. So um well, since we're doing summer, you said summertime. So usually in the summertime, I'm I'm all about short shorts and strappy sandals mm-hmm. because I know that my legs are like one of my best assets. Mm-hmm. Um, and I usually will put that on because so like that's the thing. Like if you have like a, a big belly or, you know, fat belly Bella going on <laughs> and you put on the the jeans, but you get a cute like f- what do you call those flare? It's kind of like a flare out like shirt a or a flowy top. With the sandals, it gives you this, like, tall, thin mm-hmm. silhouette. So that's usually my go-to thing in the summertime. Um, Thigh-high boots make me look taller. Mm-hmm. Um, so I do that a lot with a flowy shirt, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the business now of buying ex- extra-large button-ups right. now. So with and I, yeah. yeah, and so I'll get, like, an extra-large button-up now and put, you know, really big earrings on and, mm-hmm. like, beat the face, of course. Um, and then body contrast with a sick ass spandex, like um, what do you call them? Spanx. Spanx. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sick ass spanks under, under that. Under armor. Under under <laughs> under armor. armor. Yeah. Indeed. So I'll do that. Um, so fun. Mm-hmm. All right, give me your papers because we're going to put your style using the words that you wrote on your papers. We're going to put your style into three words, okay. and I'm going to start with Jade. Can you read my handwriting? But you didn't even answer all the questions. I didn't. <laughs> No. I don't think I did, though. Okay, so... Did I follow, did I follow directions? Yes, you did. I think so. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm terrible. It's actually, like, the first three words that we talked about. Yeah, that's so, one there. Yeah, it's usually, like... Because um, I guess the, the point is, it's like you pull the three to five words that really resonate with you the most, and these are your personal style definitions. Okay. And that's what you're supposed to use, like, when you go to the mall, when you're looking at your uh, closet, when you're thinking about how you want to look... Every day you think of these three words and that's like your personal style. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, Latoya's is confident, edgy, and sexy, mm-hmm. which I think is pretty that's spot pretty on. That's pretty spot on, right? And Jade's is free, comfortable, and sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you sexy girls, yes. <laughs> Mine is sophisticated, empowered, and chic. Um, so, yeah, I think that that was fun. And <laughs> hopefully I will, I mean, I will share the link to to this quiz. It actually is like a downloadable workbook. You can print it out and you can like, they have all these different adjectives that you could choose from that help you think through some of the questions. We kind of literally just 
roughhoused through this <laughs> um, and tried to make it fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed it because I thought we had good, good chit chat about it. But this will kind of help you to kind of define what your personal style is. And that should help you kind of, you know, in terms of building a wardrobe that you love. Um, they suggest that once you know what your personal style is, that you should do a good clean out of your closet mm-hmm. um, and just kind of like throw away anything that are not represented by the three words in your personal style. So anything that is not sophisticated, empowered, and chic has got to go. Do a Kanye to your closet. What's that? Oh, well, he went in Kim's closet and trashed all her shit. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, he did I didn't know he did that. Kanye went in Kim's closet and just well, threw clothes away. Why did he? Oh, he's got, he's her parent. That's fine. It also says That's go a on a shopping fast. It's a very strange couple. Very strange. Mm, go know. on a shopping fast. 30 days of no shopping means that you have to spend some quality times with your current clothes and explore the pieces you really love to see which ones you are, and, and see which ones are just collecting dust. I do so that basically, all the I should time. just look a mess. Yeah. <laughs> I do that like, just all look the time. a mess. Oh my gosh. Day shopping challenge. Take the 10 by 10 challenge and explore your top items and how they can work harder and more efficiently for you. This challenge always reveals some key silhouettes and styles you're gravitating, gravitating towards. Um, and then they say that it will be good to do this quiz with a friend because you guys, they can tell you like, girl, you are not confident or like you are not chic, girl, but or whatever. But, but yeah, I thought that this was fun <laughs> for us to think about what personal style means to us and why we should think about it intentionally. Um, so yeah. That's Kitchen Table Talk, kids. That was fun. Was it? It was very it much was fun. fun. Okay, good. Honestly? Truly. All right. Just honesty bees. It's time for the honesty box. It's time for the honesty box. Honestly, truly. We have an email. Um, she didn't say whether or not that we can say her, we, we could say her name, so I'll just call her Shelly. Shelly says, hi, Jade and Kia. I've been following the podcast since day one. Welcome back, sis. Thank you, sis. Well, welcome. Thank you. Not welcome, because you've already been here. Welcome back. Yes, Mace. And I love listening to you both first thing Tuesday mornings. You better listen on time. Uh, She said, I was hoping you can provide some insight. Um, Oh, uh, oh, her name is Angie. She told me I could say it. Uh (laughs) So Shelly's name is Angie. Shelly's gone. Shelly's gone. Angie's here. Uh, Angie (laughs) says, I'm new to the world of creatives. I overcame a huge fear of mine and launched my own blog this year. Go, Angie. We're proud of you, She's doing better than me. I have been so deeply involved with parenting, wifing, working, and going to school that I had almost abandoned one of my creative passions, writing. Mm -hmm. It felt great to finally get it out there. I decided to start a blog about my experiences as a mommy, student, traveler, and fitness enthusiast. I believe it's important for women to know that we can do it all, especially since men and women alike always seem to tell me different. Anyways, I'm writing to ask, how do you all deal with negative feedback? I know that it's expected when you put yourself out there, but how do you handle it? Do you respond, ignore, try to take into consideration what others are saying? Do you ever find that some people just like to argue? Sorry that this is several questions. (laughs) It's just that I've noticed some odd behavior since starting my blog. My experience thus far is that people are either very supportive or either looking to find fault. What is constructive feedback versus trolling? Mm. I hope you get a chance to answer my question. And I'd also love if you guys could check out my blog. Um, I will definitely do that. Um, She said, hashtag hashtag team typing fast. Shout out to you, sis. Angie is her name. And her blog is... Who said I have to stay at home.com? Hey. <laughs> so, uh, Jay, do you have advice for Angie about advice? Um, I advice know about advice. <laughs> advice about advice. Or deal, how do you deal with feedback? Um, I, I know everybody responds to feedback differently based off of your personality. Certain things affect people different ways. So I think it's it's kind of hard sometimes to pinpoint how to, how to deal with it because um, you have to deal with it best according to to how you see fit. One thing um, that I don't really do a lot is read the comments, um, which is kind of sad because we have so much positive feedback. Right. But you get some negative ones in there, and the crazy thing about it is, as a human being, you're, the negative is always going to stand out more than the positive. True. It just, it just jumps out at you. You can have 500 positive comments, and you can get three negative ones, and you're going to be like, well, bitch, first of all, yeah. um, you I think a good thing yourself. to do is to sit back, first of all, and see if the person is saying something that's constructive. Um, that always helps me. If they really sound like they're coming from a decent place or like a place of like, well, I don't agree, um, you know, and it made me feel a way for this, 
while these are platforms in which we are able to express our opinions and, and put our personalities out there, so this is who we are, and it's either like you're going to listen or you're not, you do have to take into account because we're always learning as human beings as well. Um, so I try to see where the person is coming from. Um, and, like, you've got places, you know, that will post all kinds of stupid shit about you. I had a blog or not whatever the shit is called, a forum, and people just talk cash shit. I, somebody said I sound like I got mucus in my throat all the time. <laughs> like, oh my they God. just say shit to be mean because they're miserable assholes. Mm. Um, and so when you've got people like that who are literally just saying things to be mean, fuck them. Like, that's how I look at it. But when you have um, when you have people who are giving you, like, feedback and it seems like they're on a, on a path where they're trying to uh, support you and you can't always consider what everybody says because at the end of the day, you are who you are. Um, but I would kind of just see what people's motives and intentions are and that might help you to receive things a little bit better or to throw them away mm -hmm. if need be. True. So you got anything to add? No, because you know I'm scared as hell to start my <laughs> podcast. Because let me tell you, they, I just feel like uh, it's giving me anxiety, honestly, oh to uh, post the very first episode. But I'm still no. going to do it. I'm still going to do it. But I don't, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to be able to handle. Like I think I'll probably go the route of just not reading yeah. anything mm -hmm. because I will just go in the corner and like want to die. <laughs> like, oh my god! I think just... you definitely have to be in a place for it. Um, but I mean, this whole project, this whole podcast thing, and other <laughs> other things that we've embarked upon since starting this has kind of given me new perspective. Mm -hmm. um, because you know, when you think about it, when you put yourself out there. Uh, you know, I guess I guess I would caution you to think about why you started to blog anyway. Right. You know, people's comments are always going to be what they are. What they are. Mm -hmm. But they should be completely like marginal. Like right. they're like they're not. They should not. Because you started the blog because you said you had a passion for this writing. This is your passion project. This is it, your passion for writing. When you put yourself out there, people are going to have things to say. They're going to have good things to say. They're going to have bad things to say that just comes with the territory. Mm -hmm. I think it's more important to keep in mind what you're doing it for. Um, and then there'll be days when you're in a space where you can kind of read feedback and it'll roll off your back. Mm -hmm. And then there'll be days when you'll be like, all right, I'm, I'm in a mood today, so I know I probably shouldn't look in, look at them comments. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also, too, it's intriguing to me that, you know, for someone to comment and say mean things or like that time, Jay, we, somebody had commented on, on, on one of your pictures or something. And oh. I was like, oh, she tried it. <laughs> but me, it's yeah, I saw you. You blocked her right away, but it's crazy because they still be listening and they still be so, listening and they still be right. reading and they still right. be looking. Still so be looking. She, um, she's probably gonna be a okay because they probably still even if they have something critical right. to say about her blog, right. they're still gonna read just right. to hate, which right. is nice because you've Yo. given me the numbers, right? You're giving me the subscriptions, so you're that's really it. helping me in an essence. So that's. I, I think that's a good a, a route that she can go. You know, just be like, okay, well, I just got a number. I got a viewership. Like, right. thank you. That's how I look. Like, I, um, when I got married, because it was not too long uh, before that that I saw all the negative stuff. This was obviously years ago, but I, um, it was like, like I said, it was a four, it was pages and pages of like negative shit. And I was able to laugh at it. I was like, ah, I sound like I have flip in my throat. Like, you're, you, you don't have anything going on in your life if that's what you're mad about. But then it would be people who would do things, who would say things like, oh, why does she call him her husband or her spouse? Like, they not married yet. Now they talk about planning a wedding. Like, it would be detailed. No, I know. They get crazy. And then they would be like, oh, but I'm still going to look at the wedding pictures. I can't wait to see mm -hmm. the wedding pictures. And it's like, you yeah. listen to my show to say I'm not funny. You look at my pictures to say whatever comments you have. You have, but you have no bearing on my life. And that is how I have to look at people like that. Whereas the people who are saying all the positive things, like we constantly appreciate you guys because it is very upbuilding. It's very encouraging. Um, and that feedback is necessary when you're in a field like this. But like um, like everybody said, you just kinda have to you just kinda have to let things roll off your back and put yourself in a, and, and act according to where your headspace is. If you're not in a headspace where you can read something and let it roll off your back, then don't read it. Right. Yeah. I also don't want to think I mean, I I agree with you. I also feel like it's important to say that um there are times where negative that that uh, where feedback 
negative feedback. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Well, negative feedback can still be useful. Constructive. Mm-hmm. So, it, yeah, yeah. So, like, constructive. But I think the point is, um, and, like, my grandma used to say, for, I mean, I don't like to speak in cliches, but it's just a good one. So, like, <laughs> when you... Uh, so, like, you eat... When you eat, like, you eat the meat and spit out the bones. Mm-hmm. So, like, you take from things, um, you know... Some people say, you know, I talk really fast or I get jumbled up. So, I mean, that's true. And I recognize that. I know that that's something that I'm actively working on. So I don't necessarily be like, I don't necessarily think like, okay, you know, I don't take it personal. Like, all oh, these people are hating and blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Since she's talking about writing and if you want to improve on your writing, there may be some people who have things to say that will give you things to think about in terms of how you can continue to make your writing better. Exactly. Um, I wouldn't necessarily, like, I, you know, there are people who are talking Learn to separate the difference between people who are coming for you as a person or people who are coming for your writing. Exactly. Um, and, and, you know, use, you know, sift through it and try not to sift through it with your feelings first. Um, because, you know, of course, we're going to react to things when people say negative stuff. But if we take a few minutes to digest it and humbly be like, okay, well, I could work on these things, um, you know, and just use it as a motivating point. Because, like, you put yourself out there, like I said, when you put yourself out there, when you put your work out there, it's not going to be such that everyone thinks it's amazing all the time. That's just right. the nature of the beast. I get really, really, I struggle with this at work. Like, because when I write something, I spend time on it. I want it to be amazing, and I think that it's great. And most, <clears throat> like, I literally, like, I sent something to my boss this morning, and I sat there and kind of, like, processed it. And I said to myself, I'm just preparing for her to pick it apart and tell me all the ways that it's inadequate. <laughs> like, yeah. like, I just literally, like, gave myself a pep talk because I'm like, I know she's going to come back with all these changes and things that I need to do, and I need to just, you know. She asked me to take a stab at it, and I struggle with thinking that if someone has feedback, that means I did it wrong. Mm-hmm. But I need, as I'm continuing to grow, I know it's just, like, the process of, of writing is about refining and continuing to make your writing better. So I right. think that, you know, if you're getting feedback from people, that means that they're reading. So that's mm-hmm. a positive. Um, but you, it's your responsibility to sift through that feedback and, and figure out the things that are the most useful to them. Take those things and literally discard everything else. Because mm-hmm. yeah. sometimes the readers will tell you, because you are you're, you are writing for yourself and you mm-hmm. are doing podcasts for yourself, but then you also are giving your your to listeners an and your, mm-hmm. your readers something. So right. you do have to take that into consideration exactly. totally. when you're moving forward. Totally, totally. That's exactly what I was thinking. You mm-hmm. have We're creating content for people to listen to. Right. So they have to enjoy listening. Mm-hmm. So obviously we want to hear from our listeners if it's something that oh hey we'd love if you talked about this or if you guys could change this up but when it's just point when it's just like just mean, mean stuff, and pointless yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that you can't really worry well, about. Well, you know, the people told me and Takia we look like horses. Sure did. <laughs> on YouTube. Well, what they look like. <laughs> we don't even know. We don't even know. Because there's always someone who's anonymous. Yeah. Exactly. You know what that's saying? what I'm not. So I'm, I don't want to I don't want to play with that kind of stuff. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to play with the racist stuff and the colorism stuff. That's yeah. that's what my fear is. But I'm just going to. Trolls. Step on outside. Thank you, of blank that. face ass yeah. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh I think God. it's gonna teach me something too as well. I don't know what it is, but it's, I think it will. Definitely gonna make you. I'm sure we'll teach Angie. Angie? Yeah. Angie. I'm sure we'll teach her something Absolutely. along the way. So Angie, we will definitely be checking out www.who said I have I to stay at home.com. Y'all be sure to check it out as well. Thank you for listening, sis. Team typing fast. And we hope that you get all the support that you need. Totally, totally. And I want to be very responsible of the things I say to my sister. Because everybody know I can be real petty. P-E to the T-T-Y, honey. All right. My petty peeve this week is super petty. It's like really petty, actually. And okay. it's, it, it, my husband started it, but then it got me thinking, like, niggas do this all the time. And it's actually <laughs> irritating. <laughs> Niggas she love just took to t- herself <laughs> all the way down <laughs> because it's so petty. But it, like, I shouldn't be irritated by it. Niggas love to tell you what you're not doing. Like, you be listening to a song. We were listening to a song, and I'm hearing the song. I enjoy the song. I'm like enjoying it silently over here, like moving, moving my head. You know, getting my shoulders going. <laughs> and here comes my husband. Did you hear what he said? But you're not listening though. And I niggas do this all the time. And it irritates the shit out of me. I'm like, I heard what the nigga said. Like, I'm enjoying the song. I heard what he said. Or when niggas be like, 
You heard what he said? What'd he say? What'd that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it. That's my petty thing this week. Oh, my God. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> what does their petty peeve like, mean? I'm not giving you no de- definition, nigga. Just, but anyway, <laughs> what's your petty peeve this week? Um, I'm really not in a good place. I don't have one. Okay. Um, <laughs> not you're not in a good place. Yeah, I should have. I just I feel like I, I I thought about everything else for this week's episode, but my petty peeve. So I will say this. I feel like I've said this before. I don't like when people ask me how I'm doing, what they see me doing. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Like, I was at a meeting <laughs> in Greensboro, North Carolina, sitting in the meeting, and I'm on my laptop taking notes, I'm typing, I'm writing, mm-hmm. and, you know, I'm just moving along, minding my business. This lady comes from across the room, and she's walking toward me, like, completely exasperated. Like, you can tell <laughs> that she has been thinking about this all morning, and she has a burning question for me. So she's like... Takia, I'm like, hey girl, what's up? How in the world do you type with those nails? Oh, yeah, that's irritating. I'm like, you see me typing. You yeah. see me typing. You see me over here. I'm typing. I'm typing faster than you. Simple, yeah. like, like this. That's what I said. I'm just <laughs> like, like, why are you? Why are we talking or like about people this? People who walk up and be like, you still eating, bitch? Don't you see this chicken <laughs> in my mouth? Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm still hey, eating. People draw t- because and then like, what was her? Res- what was what was the response that she was expecting? Like, was she was? Did she think? I don't know, girl. Is there some sort of? <laughs> I got typos sort of, for days. Right. Like, <laughs> like oh, how do you walk in those shoes? I put one foot in front of the other, <laughs> and before you know it, I'm down That's the street. That's what the, the women, older women. Oh, I don't know how you walk in those heels. <gasps> Easy. Like, ah, uh, that thing. Just, yeah. Blew me. Oh, no, I have another irritated. one. See, now I got two. <laughs> A roll. Um, so I think that um okay, older people, they think that phones are just for communication. Now smartphones are like experiences. You yes. can do so much oh, everything. on your phone. Everything. Oftentimes, you know, if I'm in church or if I'm in a meeting and I think of something, I'll make a note of it. I told you I use the notes app. Mm-hmm. I'll make a note of it. I know where you're going phone. with this. Yes. I know where you're going with Stop this. Stop texting. See? <laughs> yeah. Because, see, my pastor tried to come for me at church with that. They wear me out. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. I was in a meeting, this, the same meeting, somebody from my office sent me a message and was like, put your phone down. And I was like, I bet I won't. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? Are you kidding me? First of all, you're texting me right now. Exactly. Yeah. So put your devices away. I'm like, first of all, I'm not over here tweeting for a change, right? <laughs> <laughs> for once. Because sometimes that's first what I've been doing. But even if that be that's the what case, I'm going to do. That's my business. Okay? I'm over here minding my business. I'm participating in this meeting. I'm doing everything that you've asked me to do. Why is it that you think that the phone being in my hand means that I'm not paying attention or I'm being disrespectful? Right. She was like, you're being a distraction. Only because I'm distracting you. Right. Nobody else. Like you watching me. I mean, because you're obsessed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Why are you so obsessed? Like, with why me? are you over here, like, watching what I'm doing? Because you're not paying attention to the meeting. I'm paying you attention. paying attention to me. So, yeah. Oh that was probably the main one. That was the one that I said that I was going to do, but I forgot. But then I remember. So, yeah. I'm about yes. to be mad obnoxious mm-hmm. when people start doing that. Though. I'm like, well, here's where I was taking notes. This is where I, I was, looked something yeah. up. I told her. I was just like, sis. I'm, I know you feel like I'm watching YouTube videos at work, but not happening. I'm actually over here working. I don't have time. I just don't have time. Like, and I was like, and it, I type faster than I than I write sometimes, mm-hmm. and a lot of times, like my handwriting is completely disrespectful. So I <laughs> I type things because it's leg- legible, and I don't have to go back and try to figure out what in the devil is this that I wrote on mm-hmm. scribble down on this paper because mm-hmm. I'm trying to catch you know whatever was being said. So yes, I would like people from older generations to acknowledge that phones do more than just send messages. Um, that you know they have a lot of other capabilities. So yeah. you shouldn't just assume that a person who is holding their phone or their device is not engaged or listening to you right. mm-hmm. or whatever. So sometimes yeah, they're using them for other sometimes things. you know sometimes we're multitaskers. I like agree. That. Millennials are multitaskers. Yes, that's the bottom line. Absolutely. Okay, and that is another episode. Of getting grown. So you ain't have a petty peeve? Oh, my bad shit. I don't, I mean, I've got so many. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, know I mean, something, I don't want to go the racial way because it happened to me already at work. Okay. Should I tell it? 
<laughs> what? Well, because it's not bad. <laughs> what? What is that? I don't know what that it's is. Knock knees. Oh no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> probably got some knock knees. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, and like, like like the people I work with are are great people. They're very nice. Mm-hmm. I like them. They're nicer than the people over at BET. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, they pay me well. Right, right. You know, they had a nice little laptop for me ready right. to go. Like, you everything was great. I was set up mm. great. And it wasn't even a malice thing. I know it wasn't. And I know that it's mostly a lot of um, white gay guys mm-hmm. there. Um, so, and they're, they're super cool. But not even two days into work, I had to hear the Black Don't Crack comment. So context? I was just like, why can't they just wait? But like, what why they, couldn't you but, give me at least a, a month? What are they saying to you? Um, so we, because my client is a skincare, it's a skincare client. Mm-hmm. So they mm-hmm. were talking about like how they have to get fillers and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, I would probably get fillers in my eyes because <laughs> lately... Getting older, um, I'm cracking under my eyes with my sh- with um, the foundation mm-hmm. and the concealer. So he was like, "Oh, you don't need that. Like you have beautiful skin." And I'm like, "Thank you." And then he was like, and he looked to the other girl and he was like, "When they tell you black don't crack, it's not a myth. Black don't crack." Mm. <laughs> Thanks, um, sir. Uh... So I was just sitting there like, <sighs> you irritating. We wasn't even 48 hours into me starting but this I'm new just, job. So he's really comfortable. Yeah. Too comfortable. Too comfortable. Too comfortable. I just don't understand. But worst. it's not the first. I feel, I don't know what it is about me. They are amazed with me, one, not having no hair on my head. And then, like, the skin. I don't know. But I've always had them come to me saying, like, multiple times people have come to me black. Yeah, girl, because black don't crack. And I'd be like, what makes them feel like they could say that to me? So I'm anyway, talk about your head till kingdom comes. So I just want you to know. No, and, and it wasn't even, like I wasn't. It was just it's just a pet peeve of mine. Like because you don't know me like that. No, I get it. You yeah. know, and People I just, just feel like we're just so racially charged <laughs> as a nation Dude. right now. And like I, don't, they don't acknowledge your own like identity. <laughs> Black don't cr- and position. Like I don't like, know. It was sir. just I was just like uh, it just grinded my gears. It grinded my gears. You gotta so. calm down. Yeah. yeah. You don't know me like yeah. that. Yeah, so. and I know he didn't mean nothing by it, but it was just... You just have to tell him you don't know me like that. No, I don't... That's what I do. I just let it be. <laughs> yeah. I just let it be, but it's just kind of like that really... I just didn't understand. It's like when you try to... Like when they homegirl you. Like, yeah, don't uh, stand a homegirl. I'm getting girl. Like, I'd be like, hey, oh, I'm getting that. Takia's eyes just... <laughs> don't babe me. Takia just got so annoyed. Yeah, I'm getting, oh, oh, girl, please. No. And hair flipping. No. I'm like, don't girl me, girl. He be hair flipping. <laughs> and I'm, I was just was like, oh, gosh. No. Okay. No. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's my pet peeve. And then also watching shows with people... You know, you be sitting watching a show with somebody. Y'all literally just started watching the same show together, and it's new to both of y'all. Mm-hmm. And they and ask somebody questions. So who that? <laughs> hi, hello. I'm sitting here with you. Yes, hi. Okay. Yes. Please. You know, we watching this in real time. Stop. Like I didn't like, watch. I'm I didn't watch it before. You. We done started this thing together. You know, we in this thing y'all together. Ain't shave me. You know. So please. Yeah. Stop gonna, asking me. <laughs> don't ask me no more who it is. I don't know. <laughs> I want to know. I We're had to, all going to wait until the credits. The oh, young man who was at like Christmas you know. house last night, we was watching the Grammys. I had to apologize to him because I asked him, who is that 17 times? <laughs> who is that? Who is that? <laughs> who is that? Oh, that thing gets, grinds my gears. Who is that? Oh, that he, thing. I'll be like, so I'm here patient. with you. That's always, that's, I, that's my line all the time. I'm here with you, you know? That's he me. was we, so patient. He was that's like, my husband that's with me. He'd so be like, yo, we at the movies together. I've never seen this before. Yeah, I've never seen this before. I'm here with you. This and is then like, five we're seconds later, I'll be like, together. babe, wait, what happened? Like, oh I have gosh. no answers for you. I'm here with you. <laughs> We've started this journey together. I would hope, I would like for you to pay attention as much as I am. Yeah, well, some of us aren't built like that. <laughs> some of our parts are disconnected. Well, I need you to work so on connecting the Kia talks about. about how parts are, my parts are disconnected. It's Girl, like a junkyard over that here. That thing gets on my nerves. You gotta do better. <laughs> that gets on my nerves. All right, now we can wrap up. Thank you guys for listening to another episode of Getting Grown with Jaden Kia. We appreciate you all for your constant support yes um stay tuned as we have some things coming up some very important things to share with each of you um 
um, from Jade, from Kia, and from the both of us together. Yeah. Um, and Toy's going to be having some new things. She sure is. To talk yes. about soon as well. And we'll keep you guys posted when all that's going down. Yeah. As well. But, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, that's Let's it. Hit up that Instagram. That's how you're gonna find out. Yeah, we'll put all of Toya's contact information in the description box. Sure we will. want to thank you for joining us today, sis. You've been a joy. Thanks for coming, sis. You're the best. I appreciate you guys. I had so much fun. We'll always. have to do this again it's very, a blast very soon. With Toya. Yes, we'll <laughs> have to do this again very, very soon. And even yes. though this was her petty peeve, um, make sure you guys drink your water. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> Moisturize because your black will it's crack. Contrary, contrary to Toya's coworkers, <laughs> your black will crack. Your black if will it's crack. Home girl. Bye. Sis. Bye. Bruh. <laughs>